Howdy folks, short and sweet one here. This is regarding the Sun SDR2 DX. And I started playing with a dynamic microphone plugged into mic two, which is set up for a dynamic microphone. Looks for an impedance of 500 to 600 ohms. And I'm using a Heil cable for a Yesu 857D as an RJ45 on one end with a PTT pigtail with a three pin XLR, which plugs into a dynamic microphone on the other end. So let me get over to the camera. So this is the microphone I'm using. This is an Audio-Technica ATM 25. This is a kick drum microphone. And it works pretty good on my voice. It does require a pop filter and that's what you see that bracket I made up to mount a pop filter on it when I've used it in the past. So what I'm going to show you is what this thing actually sounds like in the sun, direct in using the onboard processing, uh, the TX audio processing. So let's get back to the pan adapter. We're going to go through this really quick. I do have DC block enabled. Now I don't have all of these. I haven't played with all of them yet. Some of them I like, some of them I don't like. So I do have the noise gate engaged and I did make some modifications to that. I lowered the attack time, increased the release time, changed the ratio to one to two. Seems to work okay. I have limiter engaged. I don't know if I made any changes to this. I don't think so. Don't hold me to that. I'm not gonna click the default because it's working. I found the limiter to be very good actually and actually increase helps, helps to preserve and increase the fidelity coming in, and the last thing I use is the equalizer. So I re it uh, for my voice, what I like to hear, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it back. I'm gonna punch the PTT, and what you're gonna be hearing is the audio uh, being fed to the sun after it goes through the sun. It's not going out on RF, but I did test it yesterday with a friend of mine, NALLC, and he said it sounded great. So very capable system on board the sun. If you want to use a dynamic mic, I'm actually thinking about using this setup for events and contesting. You may ask why it's because there is virtually no latency on this, nothing. Uh, it's really nice. Like if you're going to crack pileups, uh, latency is a killer. As we all know with SDRs, with busting pileups and stuff like that, working events where timing is everything. It's very important. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to demonstrate this and you can see I left the spectrum visible visible up here so I'll expand it out a little bit more you can see what it looks like make sure I am pulled all the way out which is pretty close so um, let me punch the key and we will get to it. I got to mount. I got to mute the um, the microphone for OBS. So stand by. Here we go. Okay, this is audio testing the Audio Technica ATM25 uh, kick drum microphone on voice into the Sun SDR2 DX using a Heil cable three pin XLR to RJ45 into the front of the Sun into mic two. As you can see up here, I have zero dB as far as uh, input gain. The gain is a little bit low. The one thing I wanted to mention was be careful of your gain if you're not running the, the um, AGC limiter, which is this right here. If you're not running this, you, don't, you, you can't go much above zero dB before you start to get a clip. So you do have to, I didn't mess with the gain too much and I didn't really set it up that well. So uh, I can go back in and I can, I can play with this and just bring the gain up a little bit as I need it. But um, that, that is what's going on. So I have the equalizer in play. I have the limiter, the noise gate, and the DC block. So this is what it sounds like with all of that running. And the EQ, EQ t is very powerful. So what this is is basically a parametric EQ. Uh, this is your level boost and cut, and this is the frequency you set right here. And this is the Q. This is how many frequencies below and above the center frequency. So if you want to look at this, 
This one right here is five, set at 506 hertz. Uh, the Q is at 2, and this is the boost or cut. So if you increase this, this down here, it will affect this slider as you boost or cut will affect more frequencies above and below 506 hertz. So that's how that works. Uh, pretty nice, pretty powerful. Uh, the microphone does make a difference, I found, and the I did try an SM58 on here, and I did not like it. Uh, it just didn't seem to do the job. So the microphone still does make a pretty big difference, and I think this is a worthy alternative to going to a rack or a DAW. It does work, and it works extremely well. And that's the end of the demonstration. Okay, so that's basically the TX audio uh, that's being spit out of the sun, not via RF, but that's through the monitor. And it sounds pretty flipping good. Doesn't sound as good as a rack, of course, but it is, uh, it's very, very good. I'm really impressed. I mean, like I said, I may end up using this for DX and other things. So that's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Something to consider if you're considering a rack or using a DAW, you may want to pick up, uh, you don't need a sound card, uh, just pick up a very good dynamic microphone and that will get you going. It'll get you really, really nice audio on the air uh, right through the mic two, uh, the dy dynamic mic input on the front of the Sun 7.3. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.